The story, like life cycle, remains the same. It's the puppeteer. What he wants to do with it, that matters. How do you call this? Some call it voodoo. Some call it puppeteer possessed. The legend has it that the island tribes put a curse on you by infusing blood in what you ate. And then with the puppets, they tried to control and manipulate your destiny. But that was centuries ago. You said on the island? Uh-huh. Kaap. Nejaile kaap. Kaap on kaap. Her phone number is no good. Never heard of Lung Fong either. What about that place where a woman turned into a rock? The legions of lovers' rocks, the stories of suffering women are rampant. But that again is something... What about the caves? Island of that size, anything is possible. But one can access them only by boat. And now it's a monsoon season. Gus, if my friend says no such person, I have to believe it. Tell me something. While on island, did you attend the full moon party? Yeah, for sure. Were you living it up to, so to speak? Well, yeah, so to speak. Did you... Did you pay? No. How old was she? I don't know. Late 20s, 30 perhaps. Only knew I was her first. She was virgin. And you knowing that? I'm a man. She's a woman. We don't live at a stone age, you know. You gas! Those islands are what we call white man's folly. The foreign living on those islands do not exactly have the best of reputation. I've heard of strange things going down there. Rocks that talk, mermaid sightings. And now what you're saying is going to make things worse. Haven't you heard of reincarnation? The cycle of life and death. A life is influenced by the actions and deeds of the previous one. The cause and effect doctrine of Buddha. And with it comes the human suffering. Whoa, 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 stop. Are you saying that lake is a rock? That I made love to a rock? Live men doing a dead rock? No. You are the one who is saying about a woman living in caves, waiting for her captain and cooking in blood. Let's look at it this way. This is a sea creature. This lady, rock reincarnated. And you just fit into her romantic notion of sea captain. There must be some kind of cosmic DNA somewhere. That's it. Whatever you may call it, she certainly made a claim on you. And you almost paid for it with your life. Yeah. Because I broke my promise, I deserve it. That's it. And what are you trying to prove by going back? Someone cast a spell to possess me. How could I get away? This is not the right time. Are you saying that I'm cursed for life? I don't say. I don't ask. I don't impose. I just accept, respect, and surrender to the wisdom of my tradition and let it flow. How can I be enlightened? If you look for it, you will miss it. Make them dance. You will see the light.
do I see the light? What is the secret recipe? I'm coming home. But my journey will not end until I solve the mystery of the Zen of cooking. to lemongrass? No, sir. And to Mr. Um? No, sir. Are you sure you don't want to look at the menu? No, thanks. Is there anything else I can do? Sir? I wouldn't if I were you. You are what you eat. It will kill you. A classy restaurant. Shouldn't microwave its food. You can tell just like that? I have very good news. Chef's on leave. Restaurant is open, the chef is on leave? Let me take care of that. First bite should make you feel like falling in love for the very first time. Are you in heaven? But I want a chicken and I got an egg. Yeah, but you're satisfied. As a woman, I know that the first bite always leaves something to be desired. And, uh, love has nothing to do with it. You'd like to go to heaven, but you don't want to die. Have a nice day. I enjoyed your show earlier. Ah, I'm as good as it gets. Mister? Theo. You can call me Theo. Your eggs are to die for. Made me feel like I was eating an omelet for the very first time. Your visit with us, it was a professional courtesy. No. It was for sentimental reasons. I've worked there before my pursuit of the Zen of cooking. Well, you have the chops and those hungry eyes. I like you. I took the liberty of firing my chef earlier today so that I can offer you his job. You are the owner? No, Rose is the owner. Your wife? Let me put it this way. Rose sits behind the wheel. I just sit here in the back. <laughs> know what I mean? So she'll work out the details with you tomorrow. Andre, I'm ready to go. Oh, by the way, rumor has it that the previous owner was 
bumped off for seducing the wife of a jealous kingpin. What? Uh-huh. Here. You may want to hold on to these. For sentimental reasons. Poor man, I hope it was worth it. Can we go now? I can't control how long you live, but I'm in a position to see to it you don't die without good reason. Sorry I'm late. I had to see my masseuse one last time before we went back to India. It's the only time I could see him. Amazing what a pair of good hands can do. You don't remember me, do you? Another lifetime, perhaps. Don't be sorry. Be sexy. Hey, don't be cheeky. I'm the boss, so you'll be sorry. Okay? Now let's see what your hands can do. Uh... 